Hello and welcome to a video on rounding and in this video we'll be looking at how to round numbers to given numbers of decimal places. So we're going to start looking at one decimal place and then we'll move on to rounding to two decimal places and then three decimal places. So first of all let's round this number here so we've got 3.47 and we're going to be rounding it to one decimal place. So if we are rounding to one decimal place we're either going to be rounding it down to 3.4 or we're going to be rounding it up to 3.5. Now, whenever you're thinking of rounding, always think about which number is it closer to. So is 3.47, is that closer to 3.4, or is it closer to 3.5? Now, hopefully you can all see that 3.47 is definitely closer to 3.5. So in this situation, we will be rounding up. So 3.4, uh, sorry, 3.5 will be our answer. Okay, let's say we've got the number 8.13. And again, we're rounding to one decimal place. So we're either going to be rounding it down to 8.1 or we'll be rounding it up to 8.2. And again, we'll think about which number is it closer to. So 8.13, that's definitely closer this time to 8.1. So in this situation, we'll be rounding it down. Okay, I'm going to do one more, but this time this one's going to be slightly more interesting. So let's say we've got 4.75. And we're rounding to one decimal place, so we'll either be rounding it down to 4.7 or we'll be rounding it up to 4.8. Okay, so have a think about that. Now, hopefully you've realised that 4.7 is bang in the middle. Okay, it's exactly halfway between 4.7 and 4.8. So the question is, do we round it down to 4.7 or do we round it up to 4.8? Okay, well I'm going to show you how we do this, how we determine whether we round up or down. So we're rounding to one decimal place. So this is our first decimal place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line after that number and I'm going to focus on this number here. Now, if this number is greater or equal to five, it means we round up. Whereas if it's less than five, we round down. So let's just write that down. So if it's, if it's five or more, so five or more, we round it up. So round up, whereas if it's less than five, so if that number is less than five, we round down. Okay, and that, that's, that's what determines whether we round up or down. So in this situation, this number is five, so we would round it up. Okay, if it's five or more, we round up. So if it's a five, six, seven, eight or nine, we round up. Whereas if it's less than five, so one, two, three, or four, we round down. So we're rounding it up, so this answer is going to be 4.8. Okay, so let's uh, scroll down. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and have a go at doing these ones yourself. So round all of these numbers to one decimal place. Okay, I'm assuming you've paused the video, so let's go through these together. Now, because we're rounding to one decimal place, that is our first decimal place. So we draw our line here. And we look at this number here. So if this number is greater than 5, we would round up to 4.9. If it's less than 5, we would round down to 4.8. You can clearly see that this number is less than 5, so we would be rounding it down. So our answer is 4.8. Okay, the next one, if we put our line in and look at this number here. So this time, this number is greater than 5, so we would round this number up to, to 9.8. This next one, we put our, so this is our first decimal place, so let's put our line in, and this number it is exactly five, and remember, when it is exactly five, we round up. So this becomes 80.9, that's 80.9. Okay, this one, so that's our first decimal place, so let's put our line in and look at this number here. Here, this is greater than five, so we'll be rounding this up. So this was nine, so if we round it up, that will become a 10. So we put a zero here and add one to this, so that would become 10.0, 10.0. Okay, make sure you include that point zero. P try not to write 10, because writing 10.0, you're actually stating that you have rounded to one decimal place. So please don't write just 10, make sure you include the point zero. Now the last one, so this is our first decimal place. So put our line here, this time we're looking at this number. This number, again, this is exactly 5, so we round up, so it becomes 39.6, 39.6. .6. 
Okay, so so far we've looked at one decimal place. Now we're going to look at rounding to two decimal places and the technique is exactly the same. So if we round into two decimal places, this is our first decimal place, this is our second decimal place, so we're going to draw our line here and we're going to focus on this number here. So if this number is greater than 5, we'll be rounding up to 5.13. If this number is less than 5, we'll be rounding down to 5.12. And you can clearly see that this number is less than 5, so we'll be rounding it down to 5.12. Okay, so just like before, I've got some for you to have a go at yourself. So pause the video and have a go at doing these for yourself. Okay, let's go through these. So two decimal places. So first decimal place, second decimal place. So draw a line in and we look at this number. So this number is greater than five. So this number we round up. So it becomes 3.49. Okay, next one. So one, two. So we draw a line here and we look at this number. This time, this number is less than 5, so we just round it down to 2.61. 2.61. Next one, so first decimal place, second decimal place, draw our line in. This number, this is 5, so remember when it's 5, we round up, so this becomes 8.16. And the last one, so this is our first decimal place, second decimal place, this time we draw our line here and we look at this number. This is above 5, so we bump this number up by 1, so this becomes 6.07. Okay, so notice how the technique is exactly the same. I've just drawn the line in a different position this time. Okay, Okay. now for you to have a go at these ones. Um, so I've got some that include three decimal places, but it's exactly the same technique. So I'd like to have a go at pause, pausing the video first and then rounding these numbers to the given number of decimal places shown in the brackets. So this number round to one decimal place, this number round to two decimal places and so on. Okay, let's go through these together. So one decimal place, so one, draw our line here and we look at this number. So this is less than five, so we round it down. So that's 38.3. So two decimal places, one, two, draw our line in and look at this number here. This is greater than five, so we bump this one up by one, so it's 10.05. This time we've got three decimal places, one, two, three, draw our line in, look at this number. So this number is less than five, so this just stays the same. So we round it down, 4.225. Okay, two decimal places, one, two, let's draw our line in. This number is less than 5, so we round it down, 0.47. One decimal place, so this is our first decimal place, so we draw a line here, circle this number. This is greater than 5, so this one will bump up by 1, so it's 51.3. And the last one, three decimal places, 1, 2, 3, put our line here. This is greater than 5, so we bump this one up by 1, so this becomes 0.506. 0.506. Okay, so hopefully this video has given you uh, a bit of help on rounding to different numbers of decimal places. In the next video, we'll be looking at rounding to the nearest uh, whole number and the nearest ten, hundred, and thousand. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.